Hello everyone, welcome back to Naturally Hema. Today I'll be making appam. Appam is a gift from the Kerala cuisine to the rest of the world. It's lazy, it's porous and it is crisp on the outside and soft on the inside. It's, the porosity of the appam comes from the uh, leavening agent that's being used. It can be yeast or baking soda or toddy. Before fermenting the batter, we either add toddy or yeast or baking soda. And we all know that appam is soft on the inside and crispier on the outside. This softness comes from roux that we add while making the batter. So what is a roux? Roux is a method where a small quantity of the actual batter is thinned down using milk or water. And this thinned down liquid is cooked till it becomes slightly thick or slurry. The thickened batter at room temperature is added back to the main batter or dough. The roux when added to the batter and ground together, it thickens the batter, it absorbs the water a little bit and makes the batter less sticky, which is what we want. We want the appam to come out of the tawa, right? So in, uh, in the three recipes I'm showing you today, I've made uh, the roux using three different ingredients. One of them I've used the semolina and I've made a slurry upma kind of liquid and added it to the batter. And one of them I used the batter itself, thickened it and added back to the batter itself, like the standard roux. And the third one I've used cooked rice, which is nothing but roux in another form. So I use this method of making the roux for uh, making a appam, nei appam, or uh, uh, ladi pav, or I've also used it for making jackfruit appam. And it's quite easy and the results are amazing. Hope you all enjoyed the video of appam today and let me know which recipe you prefer the most. Appam is best served with a kandla curry or a veg stew or fish curry or egg curry on the side. I can already taste it. And do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos 
and thoughts about food and facts about food.